Hi, I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. In this segment, we're going to discuss and demonstrate retrieving a firefighter who's fallen through the floor. We're going to devise a very basic system to lower our rescue firefighter down, and then we're going to reset the rope and devise a very basic four-to-one system to haul our unconscious firefighter up through the floor. We must bear in mind that this may not be our number one best option, and we should really size the building up to see what other options present themselves. If this is the only option we have, we may have to take some provisions to make this a little bit of a safer operation for the rescue firefighters. As you can see here, we took some doors off the hinges and we spaced them around our hull. We've already had one firefighter go through the floor, so structural integrity may be an issue. All right? We're simulating here that we have a member down in the basement. If there's a fire condition down there, obviously this is a natural vent point. So we're going to send a rescuer down in full PPE with SCBA to go down and perform this removal. All right? Our first challenge is lowering our member, our rescue firefighter, down into the hole. All right? So what we're going to do is very basic system. We've put a pre-tied handcuff knot in our rope here. We want to make sure we have enough rope on either side of the knot so we can successfully get our rescuer down into the hole. We're going to apply the loops of the handcuff onto firefighter Riggett's feet. He's going to tighten the knot. He's sitting over the edge of the hole. We're going to take the rope and we're going to run it under his armpits. He's going to grasp the rope tightly. The firefighters are going to lift up, pick him up over the hole, and lower him down to the floor below. He's successfully down on the floor below now. He has to access our down member. He has to convert our down member so that we can send down our retrieval system and get that down member up out of the hole. All right, so we've got our rescuer firefighter down. He's assessing our unconscious member. We brought the rope that we used to lower Eric down to the floor below back up, and we're going to reset it now into a four-to-one hole system. So essentially what we do is we just take the rope, we put a bite in it, okay? Each guy up here is going to take a piece of the bite. So we end up with four leads, okay? What we're going to do now is we're going to send both ropes down to our rescue firefighter. He's going to take these bites and attach it to the firefighter's harness once he's converted. And now we've created a basic four-to-one haul system to bring this down member up out of the hole. All right, the firefighter down below is converting our unconscious firefighter. The guys up here can start lowering the haul line down. That's good. Our rescue firefighter has the haul line. He's going to pass both bites of the rope through the large hook on the harness. These guys are going to take up a little slack. Now our rescue firefighter initially is going to help guide the unconscious fireman under the hole, center him, and he's going to assist as we start the haul up. This haul has got to be coordinated. One member has got to do the count a cadence, whatever it is, and we want to start hauling this member up out of the hole. All right, so we successfully extricated our unconscious firefighter from the floor below. Our next step now is to send the rope back down to retrieve our rescuer. The guys are going to utilize the same four to one system. They're going to send the two leads down to Eric. He's going to clip in with his harness hook and we're going to retrieve him back up through the same hole using the same four to one system. Eric, you ready? Paul. 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 All right, so in this segment, we discussed and we demonstrated retrieving a firefighter who's gone through the floor. We utilized the handcuff knot in a basic two to one to lower our rescue firefighter, and then we converted into another basic four to one haul system to bring that firefighter up through the floor. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge one of my fellow firefighters, Eric Riggett, 
who's going to be deployed with the Connecticut Air National Guard, serving overseas, protecting our freedom. I'd like to thank him and all his fellow servicemen for the service they provide to us. My name's Paul DiBartolomeo. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.